Today I wanted to cover the recent blockbuster settlement by the National Association of Realtors. The lawsuit alleged that the National Association of Realtors, real estate brokerages, and local MLSs conspired to obligate a seller to pay the buyer's commission. And what this settlement actually does, it acknowledges that the traditional brokerage model has to change. This is Chris Caggiano with eXp Realty. So without further ado, let's dive in. We all agree that there should be a free market conversation about compensation. So what will happen right now, starting this summer, is nothing is changing right now around the country. Because what will happen is buyers and buyers agents and sellers and sellers agents, if they elect to use one, because you're not obligated to use a real estate agent in the United States. You're not obligated to pay five, six, 10, or one. The market has commanded these fees for decades. I'm all about transparency, and what frustrates me the most is that businesses are spending so much time and so much money on lawsuits instead of defending and building a future on where we are going. And I think what happens now is new business models and there will be new opportunities. I think there's going to be greater versatility on how you work with your agents, because if you take a look at over the last 10 years, people buying and selling, regardless of the lawsuit, with all the technology, iBuying, Zillow, websites, et cetera, humans buying and selling, is that people are electing to use realtors because it's so complicated that you don't even know where to start. What you have now is transparency, which I am all for this, which is one of the reasons I started my own mortgage company real estate business is to have transparency. I looked around at what my competition was as a realtor myself, and I couldn't find the transparency that I wanted. I think that what you're going to see going forward is that real estate agents are paid on the value that they provide to their customer. And I think that this is what you're going to see going forward. It remains to be seen how these new rules are gonna shake out over the next several months. These rules are not going into effect until sometime at least over the summer. There is no obligation to use a real estate agent in the United States. There is no obligation to pay our fees here in New York City. Things are a bit different here because they are not members of the National Association of Realtors in New York City, and there is no MLS here in New York City. Remember that great service is expensive. Bad service costs you a fortune. And we see time and time again that discount brokerages have existed for a very long time. Sell your home on your own. Someone just listed their Soho home for $35 million. You could use an agent, maybe it will sell, maybe it won't sell. What's important here is greater transparency in our industry moving forward. And this I am all for.